No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. We are here with Convergent Design and Mitch Gross, and we are going to talk about all the new cool stuff. Hey there, how you doing? Doing awesome, how are you doing? All righty. Uh, let's get into it, man. What's, what's new this year? Well, we have six We have six announcements, and actually I'm going to throw in a seventh announcement. Wow. That all new announcing today that the important things about them is that we have no new hardware. Everything that we have announced is Con added continuing support for our current products. There's the Odyssey 7Q, uh, the Odyssey 7Q Plus. It everything that we we are announcing support is for the Odyssey 7 new functionality for the Odyssey 7Q Plus, as well as the previous model, the Odyssey 7Q. So it's all these new functions for them, and most of them are free. Some of them are paid options that you can choose to buy into if you wish, but most of the stuff we're announcing is just added functionality that doesn't cost you. In fact, there's some things that save you money. So we're really excited about, you know, we, we have a great user base and a great uh, bunch of clientele, and we want to sort of add to the functions and add to the things. Some of the are things that we had promised that we were going to try and get to and stuff in time. Others are things that were just totally new stuff. Nobody knew it was coming. So, first off, 4K on a camera like this, and right here, the, the, the Sony uh, FS7, FS700, we have 4K up to 60p and 2K up to 240p in RAW. We are now going to do those in ProRes. So we'll take the RAW and we will convert them, to, convert it to Apple ProRes, or convert it to video and then record it as Apple ProRes. We're also gonna have that same kind of capability in other cameras that will be able to support those sort of things. We are uh, we have our raw uh, record options, and so you had like the Sony FS7 uh, cam FS cameras, the FS7, FS700. We had the Arri Alexa. We have the Canon uh, C500. Uh, the the uh, several different cameras, the PO point of view cameras. They were all separate ones that you would, different record options that you could buy into if as you wanted to. What we've done. It was we bundled them all together. So starting today, it is the Odyssey Raw Bundle. And you buy the one thing, we've lowered the cost compared to most of what the one were, $995 or, and you own it forever. Or if you want to rent the use, if you're only going to shoot a little bit of Raw once or twice or thing, then you can rent it for $99 a day. And it opens up all these different cameras. So we have eight of them on display out of nine cameras that we can support currently for it. One of the ones that we just added is the Scion. So the, we're going to support the AJ Cyan camera. And any new camera that comes out that outputs a RAW that we can work with and we can support and we work with the manufacturer, we will add that to this bundle. And so you'll keep getting more and more cameras, more support that will be all included within this one thing you buy and every time you know we, we just have firmware updates and we keep adding to it. Another thing that, we're, that I'll just announce now that wasn't even part of our other announcements oh. was that it'll be uh, that the Canon's newly announced Canon C300 Mark II, we fully support that camera. We already fully support that camera. The raw output of that camera is the same as on the C500. Now, an interesting aspect of that camera is that its internal recording uh, for 4K is up to 30 frames a second. That's what their codec, their compression can handle. We can take 4K up to 60 frames a second out of that camera, and we can record it in RAW, that's what we've been doing, but we will soon also be able to record that in ProRes. So we can get a video output of that camera that is a higher frame rate, higher ability than anybody else can. We make our own SSDs, these right here. We have in 256 gig, uh, 512 gig, and one terabyte sizes. There are two Samsung drives that we are opening up the use on the Odyssey 7Q and Odyssey 7Q Plus. So it's the Samsung 850 EVO 
500 gig and 1000 gig size drives. Just those two. Uh, with the uh, upcoming firmware will enable their use. So you say, man, we'll, we'll, the little handles that we use to mount them, we'll sell those through our, our dealers, and so you'll be able to just screw them right onto the drive, and you stick it in. If you try and put any other drive in there, it'll just say not supported, because they won't be supported, they won't work, work. but those drives we will support. We also have uh, dual stream recording. Now, dual stream, We've we've already talked in the past about how we have we have we have quad HD monitoring, so the multi-stream monitoring we call it, and eventually we will have a recording for that as well. But with baby steps in order to get to there. So what we can do with dual stream, it has some free functions and a paid function, and you can use what you want to get out of it. So for no additional cost, coming very soon, is taking two HD signals and you'll be able to have picture in picture. So you can see them both at the same time. You, or you could set it up side by side or switch between the two of them. Great, but you can also record one of them. So no additional cost. You'll be able to record one signal while looking at two of them. So think of having, you know, doing an interview and let's say there was a second camera and you, you're using the Odyssey as your main camera recorder and then the second camera you can just check, see what the framing is, match out, whatever, you know, you can have that kind of functionality. Also, a lot of these different cameras will have multiple outputs so that one is a clean signal and the other one has like menus and such on it and like tells you, you know, your battery life and stuff. So you could have it as your operating monitor on your camera and you can look at the Odyssey and see that menu stuff, yet be clean, recording a clean signal. So that's another way that you can use it. No additional charge. For an additional option fee, you can have it as recording two separate streams of Apple ProRes. And Apple Pro is in HQ, a 422HQ, regular 422, or 422LT are the three so far that we support, and we're going to support more. You'll be able to record two separate files simultaneously. Uh, they're not weirdly compressed or anything, they're just two separate, you know, so it's like having two recorders in one. So that's $995 or $99 a day, just like the, the raw bundle, that's a separate thing that you can have. And then lastly, because I did remember them all, <laughs> lastly, we are introducing at the end of this month and our next firmware, which will have a slew of monitoring functions. And some of them are neat little improvements that we haven't really told a lot of people about. We're just gonna kind of throw it out there and say, hey, look at the, uh, look at your uh, zebras. And now we have dual zebras that you can adjust the levels to everywhere and they're in color. And you can switch what the colors are between them. And so it's just a different way of looking at it. It's just a neat little improvement that we threw in there. We have the, the false color mode and we've added another color to it. There's pink, which matches the, all the colors of, on the Alexa and the F55 for their, their false color mode, and made them all completely adjustable with their high and low ranges on them. So you can just set them to anything you want, and you can really customize it. Yeah, you can really just customize it to however you want to use the, the, the thing. We've completely revamped our focus assist, which was already a really fantastic focus assist. Now we've made it that much better and m that much more accurate and a little more adjustable, the different controls on it. We, have, we haven't really told people about those functions as much as what the big one that's included in this, which is custom 3D LUTs. We, you'll be able to create a 3D LUT. We will take all the color depths, color resolutions of uh, 3D LUTs, so 9 by 9, 17 by 17 by 17 by and uh, 33 by 33 and 65 by 65, all the different levels of it, we can take all of those in it, and then we convert it to a binary file so that they're protected. A lot of people have like their personal little LUTs that, that makes that special look. They don't want anyone to copy it and stuff, so it's protected, they can't steal it out of their machine or something. You'll be able to store a couple of hundred different LUTs and we have a whole file system that's a little organized in folders and you can label them however you want and stuff. So you'll be able to put in all these things and you can take it out of the machine if you want, but the Odyssey itself, in, right in the machine, be able to hold hundreds of them and build all these different kind of LUT files in there if you want. We have an entire routing system. So you get to choose where you apply your LUT. You could look at it on the OLED display and see, you know, see the image with the LUT applied. Separately, you can choose to apply it to the SDI-1 output to someone's other monitor. Separately from that, SDI-2 to another monitor. Separately from that, HDMI. 
separately from all of those is the on display the image uh, device tool, the image analysis tool, so like the waveform, the false color mode and stuff. Oh yeah, well that's uh, conversion design, uh, adding functionality to your cameras since 1893. That's it's incredible. Uh, yes. Thanks so much, man. This is a, a awesome, that, that was a piece of art, that, that spiel, that was amazing. I don't know how you did that, that was incredible. Uh, not my first barbecue, but uh, it's, uh, I, you know, when you, believe, when you get something that you really like and you really believe in, it's not so hard. Totally. Well, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.